Thank you so much for such kind of opportunity today to present my topic. And uh, you know, we are celebrating of uh, arrangement of our new association. And uh, we are actually some representative from Central Asia countries. I'm from Kazakhstan and we have colleagues here from Uzbekistan. So we are happy to be here and present our topics today. And uh, my name is Bahita Lipova. I'm working at the International University on Information Technology in Kazakhstan and University of Kentucky, United States. Uh, my today topics, today's topics, this about compressible computational fluid dynamics. This is two different approaches for solving the problem of the flow of viscous flow fluid in a pipe. And uh, for sure, um, you know about the subject of uh, computational fluid dynamics. And uh, you can represent different um, fluids, different flows, for example, in ocean. And uh, the main idea here to represent this through numerical methods. It could be quite difficult because of the shape is complicated and methods could be quite consuming. So that probably um, here that could be quite complicated to receive uh, the numerical solutions uh, due to as analytical solutions for sure that's not achievable. And uh, sometimes, for example, if you have some shape of difficult, difficult form, uh, for example, like shark here, you can see some points of singularities, which could be um, which could be simulated by complicated mesh. And um, for example, some meshes here, like holes or singular uh, boundaries, uh, could be represented with different type of shape uh, of meshes, spherical meshes or um, some multi grid meshes. So this is this is this is a point of um, method of solution. Um, for sure, computational fluid dynamics could be um, used for, for example, calculation of some a jet motion or some supersonic um, airplanes, and this is about the motion of liquids and gases around some obstacles. And here you can see this uh, mathematical and computer simulation of such kind of uh, motion. Um, this is a very famous profile of wing, wing of airplane, in which you can see how it would be um, simulated with different meshes. And um, here you can uh, use not only finite element methods, but finite volume methods and multi-grid methods, this bunch of them. And a such kind of like a climate motion um, in atmosphere could be represented too through a computational fluid dynamics processes. Uh, here, I would like to consider some mathematical modeling of compressible computational fluid dynamics and uh, this is two different approaches for solving the problem of the flow of viscous fluid in a pipe. I would like to stop here about some compressible and uncompressible uh, computational fluid dynamics. Um, such kind of approaches could be considered, uh, one could be considered more analytical, second could be considered more compu computational. Um, but for sure, both of them this is quite complicated to solve due to we have uh, not enough um, conditions to solve such kind of problems. And uh, therefore, maybe viscous fluid, motion of viscous fluid could be considered like a simple one, but uh, it will depend on the shape of pipe or um, some... Um, requirements, uh, some condition of fluid and so on. Here we will consider statement of boundary value problems and for sure boundary and initial conditions, uh, which could be described by Navier-Stokes equations. 
And um, we will consider two different approaches to solve the problem in dimensionless form. Um, uh, for sure, at first we will consider uh, Navier-Stokes equations, which uh, can describe the motion of fluid. This is uh, the simplest case in which uh, we will consider the gradient of um, uh, divergence and the gradient of uh, different functions. Uh, here, this is a um, displacement in different uh, directions. Uh, we will consider some uh, cylindrical system of coordinates. So for sure that you are, um, this is displacement uh, in direction of radius, uh, UZ, this is uh, in direction of the, uh, Z, of applicate, and UV, mm, this is displacement according this angle. And uh, all um, further calculations would be um, to define such kind of displacement. So we will define divergence of uh, such kind of arbitrary vector of displacement. Then uh, integral of uh, some functions, which could be represented by gradient of this function, we will represent this function um, in pipe volume, we can define as a um, volume integral here in different uh, parameters. You see these parameters according to the system of coordinates. And uh, taking Laplace operator from this, we will receive this is uh, like here. Uh, up, up to now, this is quite trivial solution, uh, not even solution, representation of statement of uh, boundary value problems. And uh, now we will represent acceleration vector in different directions to um, which can give us uh, the whole picture of acceleration of vector field and uh, displacement vector field. And uh, here we will um, include here cent centripetal acceleration and Coriolis acceleration. Uh, now we can represent Navier-Stokes equation, uh, this free first and uh, continuity equation in system of uh, uh, in this system cylindrical of, of cylindrical system of coordinates in following form. Um, I wouldn't like probably to stop uh, here in details because of I think that's uh, like this quite known system of coordinates. I would like just to stop here. That's eta here, eta. This is uh, viscosity, dynamical viscosity of fluid. Uh, rho, this is the density. R, this is the radius. Actually, everything, all the rest is quite known here. Okay, yes. And uh, continuity equations, uh, uh, continuity equations give us um, um, give us confident uh, that our system, everything is okay here. So for now, we should just define our uh, displacement in different coordinates. Okay. And um, we consider here simple, symmetrical, symmetric fluid motion. Symmetric for sure, it means that here in this cylinder, it would be symmetrical according this applicate. Okay. Uh, then two momentum equations will have a form, um, you know, quite traditional form in which, um, again, you can see like U R, U Z, and U V as um, a displacement vector um, components, and then transversal component of fluid is absent. And the second equation of momentum and continuity equation will have a, a following form. Okay. Uh, we will receive a primary equation in a such kind of form in which we just receive, we have no any transversal component. And then consider this in framework of our um, cylinder. 
So just inside between uh, internal and external radius and including boundary condition on axe of pipe and no slip condition on the wall of cylinder, we, we have received this uh, boundary condition in following form. I think still it couldn't be any, any questions here. That's quite, you know, quite transparent. So now um, I would like to formulate the mathematical model of the problem in two different ways and in the first procedure uh, i will consider this pressure difference is given then the average velocity of fluid in the pipe will be given in the form of following uh, integral in which we are taking uh, like phi changing from zero till two pi and u z would be a, a changing uh, from zero till external radius. And for sure, the wall friction stress would be given here as the first um, uh, partial derivative uh, in, in the radius, uh, which would be dependent on external radius. And uh, this is the first procedure. And the second procedure, the fluid um, which flow uh, through a pipe is fixed like um, this quantity of uh, fluid which I can consider from one section of the cylinder. So it would be equal uh, such kind of uh, um, uh, values uh, proportional to squared external radius. So now here, this second procedure, I would like to define the gradient of pressure difference. Okay, so uh, just to remind you, first procedure, this is uh, we have here um, average velocity, like u, u big, and uh, wall friction stress. And now uh, we define the governing equation in the dimensionless form using dimensionless formulation. Mm, I just would like to remind you that uh, this quite um, um, quite nice, quite comfortable to use here dimensionless form because um, you can decrease quantity of uh, dependable uh, parameters here in uh, quite quite a big system of equation, and you can avoid some big calculation here if you have dimensionless form and we are choosing like external radius like parameter of dimensionalization and now we have uh, such kind of dimensionless uh, parameters and then we will receive our governing equation in the following form and now as you can see here if we are taking instead of our internal radius, we have new parameters. Why? Why would be changing from zero until one? Because this dimension less uh, parameter, and uh, the form of uh, equation could be considered like a little bit uh, more simpler. Then, using simple algebraic equations, calculation sorry we will receive dimensionless formulation of a boundary value problem in following form, in which uh, this RE, you know, this Reynolds number, uh, which, um, which can show us, um, you know, such kind of uh, boundary between a laminar and turbulent uh, flow. And you, if you have like critical uh, Reynolds number, you can see, uh, what period, uh, what stage your flow will become from laminar turbulent or uh, vice versa. And uh, here you will receive such kind of uh, boundary conditions in following form. In my opinion, it looks, uh, looks simpler and uh, now we have less parameters to define. And in this dimension, less formulation. And uh, yes, we have uh, four parameters, 
we had four parameters earlier in our previous uh, system, uh, in our previous statement of boundary value problems. And now this we have only one, I mean U, here we should, uh, this parameter we should define. And um, then um, simplifying, we have right-hand side in the form of such kind of uh, correlation between C. And uh, if uh, uh, we'd like to solve such kind of uh, equation, we will, uh, Receive this, uh, sorry for that, for 913. This is just formula of this one. And uh, if we are multiplying by y and integrating uh, and taking into consideration just first boundary condition, I mean here we are considering this by y is uh, equal zero. You remember we have this new parameters which equal r internal over uh, our big external. So this is actually our new parameter, which characterize changing among the inter internal radius in our cylinder. So taking into con consideration this first boundary condition, we will receive such kind of very simple integrand on which um, we can uh, very, you know, very simple uh, to realize that uh, we will receive the parabolic velocity profile in the pipe. Um, you know, don't forget and keep into consideration that we have no slip boundary condition on the wall of our cylinder. Uh, so the main issue in studying the flow through pipe is the determination of their resistant coefficient and uh, this resistant coefficient of friction is the ratio of shear stress on the wall to the kinetic energy of the flow using the correlation between dimension and dimensionless parameter. So this is actually quite good result for first procedure. Just would like to remind you this, sorry. This first procedure was when we have average velocity on fluid in the pipe, and we have wall friction stress. So having this and uh, taking dimensionless form and changing boundary uh, value problem statement and boundary conditions, we will receive such kind of um, parabolic velocity profile here. So, and um, Mm, um, for sure, we, we can receive even uh, stress here in the form even simpler, uh, having uh, y is equal 1, which, which can be represent the wall of our cylinder. And um, now resistance uh, will drop with uh, Reynolds number accordingly. And you can see here, this is... Mm, um, uh, um, reciprocal proportionality of Reynolds number, but this always uh, bigger than zero, then we still have physical process here, physical motion of our fluid. Uh, what about second procedure? And just would like to remind you, sorry guys, I'm just about to be back, that we have the fluid flow uh, through the pipe, uh, we have fixed like uh, quite a simple statement uh, according um, proportion, proportional um, squared external radius. And uh, now uh, solving such kind of second procedure, we will receive that um, governing equation in dimensionless form will be following in this form. You see, again, we are replacing our dimension parameters uh, by dimensionless parameters. And uh, now we can receive the C, like RC, and uh, like resistant constant, and we will receive this equal one, and then we can receive absolutely definite 
um, definite correspondence between our uh, um, our constant, our resistant coefficient, sorry, and Reynolds number. And then we can uh, solve pressure gradient as follows. So actually, uh, we can receive absolutely definite correlation between pressure gradient and velocity, that's U, and Reynolds number, which can characterize for us, I'm just reminding you, this uh, stage, some, um, some, uh, you know, some level of turbulence, uh, turbulence of laminarity in the in the flow. So actually, we can name this solution uh, like hagen poiseuille solution for a smooth pipe. And uh, just would like to um, to keep your attention that here we consider a smooth pipe having no any singular uh, boundaries or something like that, that's quite, um, quite nice, quite good cylindrical pipe, okay? And actually this, that's all. I uh, just would like to uh, show you such kind of two different approaches in which we can receive, uh, having this procedure of uh, dimensionless form, we can receive quite simple solution for such kind of problems. Uh, that's actually that's actually everything what I'd like to, to tell you today. Yes, thank you, thank you, colleagues. I just would like to put somewhere here. Maybe we'll have some question. Okay, thank you very much for a nice talk. Welcome. Are there any, are there any questions? Yes, yes, yes. There is a question on chat so, from Budi, and thank you for the nice presentation. Is there any restriction about the pipe to use a new parameter for dimensionless in real problem? Yes, absolutely. Great question. This is a Budi. Ah, this is a Budi in Iran. Yes, and and for sure, Budi. This is the main idea here. That this, uh, this pipe for sure should be absolutely nice and smooth and having, um, you know, the same radius everywhere. I mean, the same section everywhere and the wall, non-slip non condition on the wall. So this uh, having such kind of absolutely great, nice cylinder, for sure I can construct such kind of solution here. But if it would be some singular, boundaries here or maybe something like on the wall or some change in parameters here for sure this um, solution could be more complicated and maybe in this case i cannot receive analytical solution and as always for computational fluid dynamics for sure i can construct i need to construct again some meshes you know as as I showed here, and uh, to receive the solution in numerical form, in computational form. And uh, it was a such kind of procedure. It was just uh, another, uh, some small example, how can you receive analytical solution here? Okay, I hope I have answered your question. Mm -hmm. It's okay, probably. Okay, thank you. And are there any questions? Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, do you have any expression for the pressure or uh, how do you calculate the pressure gradient? Just a moment, yes. Shoot somewhere here, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, for a second procedure, yes, uh, if you have absolutely definite uh, solution in definite form, so I can receive even such kind of simple uh, representation of pressure gradient. 
and uh, uh, this is this pressure gradient in in the direction if you remember just a moment in the direction of um, external radius because of uh, x uh, this is dimensionless parameters which could be represented instead of z yes and z if you remember this is along the pipe applicate of along the pipe so uh, receiving such kind of pressure yes a pressure gradient i'm receiving this only along the this pipe if i will have i would like to receive such kind of um a pressure gradient along uh um my uh natural dimension parameter it could be a little bit for sure more complicated than in dimensionless form but still would be received here in analytical form but this is actually only along the pipe even the symmetrical flow and even the pipe is so so nice so such you know such a cutie <laughs> even in this case I'm just receiving only such kind of pressure gradient. You know, this everything this happens because of Navier-Stokes equations. They're, you know, they are still so complicated to solve them in analytical form. This is always such a tiny boundary when you can receive analytical solution because of every step you cannot receive this and you should go to numerical solution. So this is actually about such kind of uh, pressure gradient. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Mm -hmm. I hope I have answered it. Uh -huh. Are there any questions or comments? So we still have three minutes. So could you give, so there are many younger people here. So could you give some of your mathematical journey and some message to younger people? Oh. Absolutely. I like so much students, you know. <laughs> yes. I'm just would like uh, to show you this slide back. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, for sure, such kind of pictures, they are absolutely impressive. And if you will receive some animation and some vector fields and so on, they're so colorful, so nice, absolutely looking so great. But uh, receiving such kind of pictures, that's not such a big deal, in my opinion. You should just, uh, you know, to buy absolutely great, new, expensive software. And after that, you can receive millions of such kind of pictures. In my opinion, that's much more complicated to construct such kind of solution. If you have received analytical solution, then you can construct such kind of um, software anytime, any place. So in, in the basis, there's always such kind of fundamental research. So my just, just my recommendation for all our young audience, um, you should be more um, more deep inside of analytical mass because of it will give you freedom. It will give you, you know, absolutely like confidentially in, in yourself. You would be like self-made man. I'm sorry, self-made woman. <laughs> so uh, this is just my recommendation. If you if you will know everything about equations which are in base of software, then you will receive such kind of pictures like easy, easy. This is just my recommendation. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So are there any questions? No? Okay, so let's very, very thank you very much. So let's thank the speaker again. Thank you. Thank you.